The vlogging starts right here, guys. I'm mad excited. Oh, I can't even surprise you guys because it's going to be in the title. Oh, this don't make sense. I'm going to put this on some random cars, some random cars bonnet and just hope for the best. Yeah. Hopefully he's not mad. Where are my glasses? I want to be one of them like lifestyle content creators that can like place their phone down and make everything look bare clean. I'm already, I'm already struggling. Yeah, put that there. Cheese. Cold alive. Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Let me put the glasses on so I look cool. This is the Ghana vlog. It might be part one, it might be part of three parts, it might be one part, uh, I don't know, yeah, I ain't really decided, just going off vibes. I'm leaving a little bit earlier than I normally would to go airport because there's a train strike in Gatwick and that means I've got to drive there. I had to pay £85 for parking. I don't want this bit to be too long, but you've got to show the lead up, you know what I mean? You have to show the lead up, it's important. So I'm going to show you guys the lead up. Got to go get some more cash quickly. Um, so I can get some Ghanaian money, get some McDonald's, I've got petrol, I've got pretty much everything I need, I feel real cool right now, I'm such a cool cat, i got a mic on me, what, I'm such a little content creator, let me let that car go, there's even a car coming, I can see it through the reflection, let's say that I'm a driver, but yeah, I do a little short little drive, like an hour and 15 minute drive to Gatwick, park up, Check in, go get our flight, and hopefully everything should be smooth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I feel like the guy right now. Oh, camera's gonna start moving and stuff. And things of that nature. My day's already been ruined. I try to get my sausage egg McMuffin meal like I always do. And I was gonna get a frap so I have energy for the day, but there was no fraps. That's ruined my day. Damn it. Hands up. Uh -uh. This is why I'm never on driving to the airport. God, uh, if this traffic now gets peaked, then what am I gonna do? Fortunately, my flat's at within 10, 12? I said 10. My flat's at 12. Oh, I'm scared. I don't I don't like this. I get anxiety when I'm flying out. I get nervous. It's just nerve-wracking. I don't like it. Guys, you made it. I didn't really show you the process. I can't be bothered. This this part of the vlog is not meant to be... I didn't really want to show you the process of me, like, coming. Is this the, this the Marvel music? When Thanos dies. I don't even know if you can hear it. Goodness sake. Hi, guys. Yeah, this is life. I got a starter, it's like salmon and stuff. I don't even like salmon. I just go there for the aesthetics. I'm gonna take a picture and then I'm gonna move on to the main course. Let me actually taste it. But um, I didn't show you guys anything after we drive into the airport. I just wanted to kind of get through security and that uh, and be calm. And after I got security, I was just chilling in that. But now, in my business car seat, there's, there's no one else in business class. I don't know if you can see that. Well, there's no one else in business class. I don't know why it's so zoomed in. Actually, maybe it is nice zoomed in. But I'm really enjoying this flat. I'll show you guys the mills and stuff. But this is meant to be a Ghana vlog. This is why I want to do like three parts so I can really split it up. But I'll try not to do too much waffling and too much dilly dallying. Wow, there's bare cutlery. This is my second time in business class, by the way, this year. I'm gonna taste the salmon. Let's do a taste test. How's it all munched up together? Ugh. Oh, I didn't take a picture. Sugar. Wait, let me put it back. 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 Where's my phone? Yeah, currently got braised lamb with potatoes and carrots for the main course. Had salmon, but I didn't like it. Got a Sprite, a new one, even though my one spilled. And then I've got like something come for dessert. But yeah, man, I'm so excited. But I want to show you guys a lot, but at the same time, I want to enjoy it. But I'm not good at vlogging while on holiday. But this holiday, the plan is to be really good at vlogging. This is practice for the future. I like my vlogging content, but 
I'm going to try not to waffle too much. Um, currently watching Legacies. See me, I'm a big like Vampire Diaries fan. So I watched the whole franchise. But I haven't watched Legacies to the end because it's kind of boring. But you have to watch everything in its entirety. Because I've eaten well. I've eaten so well. I've had so much munch. My belly is full. I've had like three Earl Grey teas. Two hot chocolates. Bare Sprites. No alcohol. No alcohol. But yeah, I'm landing in like an hour. Um, I'll be getting picked up from the airport. I don't I don't have any agenda or any itinerary. I don't know what's happening. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just vibes right now. Guys, I've been in Ghana for <laughs> like five minutes. And I promise you, I've been bribed already. I, I'm out of my depth here. I'm out of my depth here. I'm in Ghana acting like I know the place. I'm Nigerian. I was walking through. I got my yellow fever like 14 days ago, yeah? Then I'm, I'm going through. I'm scared now. I'm scared. I'm thinking there's something going to be wrong. I got my visa. I got my passport, everything. I'm thinking there's something going to be wrong. Then I'm cool. How you doing, boss? Right? Yeah, sugar. Everyone just looking at me like they want to eat me, but cool. The, 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 I'm talking to a woman. And she's looking at my passport, bears. I'm thinking, what's going on? And she's looking at my yellow fever ticket. I'm thinking, rah, like, what's taking so long? These times I'm looking around, no one's there to help me. And she doesn't say anything to me. And she calls over her, her, her colleague. I say, hey, but like, it can't be a good thing. She calls over her colleague. Her colleague comes. He pulls me around the corner. He's like, why is your yellow fever only like 12 days or whatever? I'm like, it's 10 days. It says 10 days. I even waited. I bought my flight later. I only bought my flight like last week. He was like, hmm, okay, I'm going to lay a slide this time. Let me even do the accent. I'm going to lay a slide this time, but my friend, she needs something. I said something like, well, I said, I ain't got nothing. He was like, then I can't let you through. <laughs> I think, hey, I'm going to be taking a flight straight back. I just got to Ghana. I just said, look, I've got a little bit of money, 10 pounds, okay. He said, I haven't got 20. <laughs> I'm going to get eaten alive. I've never been to Africa. I'm Nigerian and I'm in Ghana. I'm cook. I'm cook. Guys, we've landed. I'm officially Kwame. Call me Kwame. For the rest of these vlogs, call me Kwame. I was born on a Tuesday. Auntie Zane. Auntie Zane? Eh, what do you Me pacho, me dasi. Obviously, I've had some Ghanaian jollof rice already. I didn't get to show you because I was enjoying it. Yeah, I was too hungry, so I had to just, you know, munch down the J-Rice. I'll try to show you the munches that I'm eating. Obviously, you know I eat a lot of Ghanaian food, fufu and cutting crying, you know, mwache, talia, you know, let me not even get into it too much, you know, anti sane and stuff, things of that nature. Obviously, we got a little finance. If you know about this one here, then that means you're a true Ghanaian. But by the end of this week, I want you to know, Kumi Kwame Kofi Kwefe. That's my new name. Kwame Kofi Kwame Kofi Kweke. Uh, Kafra. Medasi. <laughs> Uso, you see Ghanaian girls. After this, any Ghanaian girl I see, I'm going to be like, hello, hello. I don't have to see a Ghanaian accent, innit? I'm going to see them. When I'm talking to them, I'm going to be like, well, oh, you're Ghanaian. Yeah, you know I went Ghana before. Yeah, like, I just went Ghana in April. Innit? Just on a quick one, innit? Just to explore. Cause I love Ghanaian girls. So this one, if any of you Ghanaian girls are watching, five foot five, goss, you know, something there. You know, and you're pretty. Just give me a DM. I'll reply. I see all my DMs, especially if they're from Ghanaians. And we can talk about Ghanaian culture. Me dasi, me pacho. The alcohol's hitting me though, man. Drunk, innit? So it's affecting my ability to play pool, affecting my ability to dance and that. That's alright, you know, laugh.
It's saying, obviously, I got buff rope for the first time. This is just, you know, fake puff puff, but it's fine. Let me taste it. Mmm. It's actually not bad, you know. Ghanaians do okay with their food. They're not really quiet with the Nigerians, well, but they're trying. That's all that matters. Guys, yesterday, yeah, I went out to just a bar. I thought it was going to be bakey. This is what I wore, even. And then. I'm thinking, yeah, it's going to be a light one. Let's get a small drink. And they're telling me one drink is calm. I'm thinking, no, I was even going to get two drinks. It was a blue drink. It's called Five Fingers. You see Ghanaians. Ghanaians are the most interesting people on this planet. Because why this Five Fingers? There's just so many different concoctions of random drinks. Guys, I was sipping it. One moment, I went from being completely sober to being completely drunk. And then I drank a tequila shot. I drank two, actually. Why did the tequila shot taste like electricity? Guys... The, the, the alcohol in Africa is just built different. Everything is different. Even this. Have you ever seen Puff Puff? Sorry. Buff Row. This size. Eti Dane. But, you know, as you can slowly see, I'm getting darker. My, 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 my jaw is getting a bit, you know, and the way I talk is getting a bit more nasally. I can feel myself slowly turning, but don't worry. I'll stay true to my Nigerian roots. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching part one of Nigerian Boy in Ghana. Hope you're there for part two, part three, and however many parts there are. See you guys in the next one. Peace. You're so 